Like many others at Crofty, Dave Leite comes from a mining background. Generations of his family have worked underground. Dave has been a miner for 16 years. I'm very happy to be at South Crofty. We're keeping the tradition going as well without getting sentimental or romantic about it. It's a hard way to make a living and I think that's perhaps part of the appeal. Nothing is given to you. Everything that you earn down there, you've got to earn through the sweat and, you know, through the hard work. The men work in pairs, depending on each other, not just to keep safe, but also to make the bonus that supplements their low basic wage. The partnership's got to work. They've got to get on together. Not everybody can work with others, you know. Um, there's some quite prickly characters on the ground. Over the years, Dave has done his share of drilling and blasting. Today, he's a trammer. His job is to shovel up the rock which contains the tin and transport it by locomotive to collecting points deep underground. I think a lot of people would be surprised on how primitive the conditions are underground. Some of the tunnels can be low. Coming off track is of, um, a problem. That can be dangerous if you're going too fast. Um, you know, you can smash into pipes. And some of the track has seen better days as well, so it's making sure that you keep everything on the track. The work demands enormous effort but only one and a half percent of the rock is actually tin. Many of the rocks are still too big to be got out of the mine. There's a brutally simple way of making sure they're cut down to size. Welcome to the Grizzly. Any rocks that are too big have to be broken up to drop through. Even the small pieces have to be clawed through the grizzly, and it's incredibly hot half a mile underground. It's a different world completely, really, underground. With the humidity, it's, it's almost unbearable. 100, 120 degrees Fahrenheit in some places where it's really hot. 